you ever see a car going down the road like a white car and the paint's coming off and you see the gray primer underneath? There's a reason for that, and that's coming right up. Well, we're at the 2017 Auto Mechanica in Chicago, and I'm here at the ACT booth, and, and this is Brad. He knows more about painting cars than anybody I know. So, Brad, what is the proper procedure for applying paint to an automobile? Yes, Jim, there's actually, there are five coating layers on most vehicles in production today. Five? Five coating layers, okay. that's correct. It's, it starts out with a, typically, a, a pretreatment, okay. something like a zinc phosphate or perhaps a thin film coating. It's creating a chemical bond to the steel. Oh. Okay, so that's typically found in the very first layer on the on the steel itself. Okay. After that, they go through an electric deposition process where the entire vehicle is going to be dipped into a, a paint mm -hmm. that is going to be applied through electricity. And that paint is going to cover all the nooks and crannies, interior crevices, all those spaces. Yeah, so this is like at the factory where the whole car gets dipped into the giant exactly. tank and comes back out? Exactly. Okay, yeah. so that's what that step is. Yeah, that's the e-coat step. Okay. And then they add a primer layer. The primer is going to help level out the surface, provide a nice smooth surface, mm -hmm. as well as provide some important UV protection. Oh. Okay. Then comes the base coat or the color coat. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're going to get your white or your blue or red or whatever it might be. Right. And then lastly, a clear coat that's going to make it shiny. Right. Okay? right. That, that clear coat also, they, they do a number of things to help improve scratch resi resistance and, and things of that nature as well. Wow. Yeah. So there's a whole lot more to painting a car than I probably would have thought. Maybe, maybe you too. So you have that five-step process. Uh, but I also noticed that you guys have uh, these panels. I thought this was pretty interesting uh, because once, uh, you, you, if you're painting a car or touching up a car, uh, bearing in mind you have all of these uh, steps in here, you kind of want to get this one right. So if you're going to be fixing a car, uh, repainting something, maybe repairing some damage, you want to make sure that what you put on is going to match yes. what's already on there. And that's exactly. what these are for, right? That's like exactly that. the purpose of these hiding panels. They're, yeah. they're economical, first yeah. of all, you know, so their, their intent is that uh, your color might change over time as a vehicle is exposed to sunlight and different environmental conditions, right. you want to make sure that when you go to apply color on a spot repair, that it's going to match. Right. So that's where the hiding panel comes in. You're going to apply enough paint on this surface to both mask the white and the black. And after that's cured, you have an opportunity to compare it to the vehicle as a confirmation before you actually paint the car. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you get this panel, you put enough paint on it to where it covers the white, the black, the white, and then you make sure that it, that it matches. That's exactly right. Right. How simple could that be? So that is just outstanding. So, uh, big question. How do folks find out more about this panel, how to get it, and a little bit more about what you do? Sure. I simply visit our website at www.acttestpanels.com okay. for information about the hiding panel or about panels that we prepare with any of the coating layers found in an assembly plant today. As well, we also perform an accredited testing services to help understand the corrosion resistance of, of paints and coatings or the impact resistance and things of that nature. Wow, that's awesome. Well, we'll put this information in the metadata down below this video, so when you want to get a hold of uh, ACP, uh, you'll be able to do that. Wow, that's great. So then, if you're uh, involved in um, putting some paint on a car, you'll get all the information you could ever want.